All right, to keep this rundown simple for those people in the back, we're gonna be making this one a puppet show. You can call me The Grub. The name's Elroy, though, and I'll be leading this little heist here. I run things using my extra magic hands that, as you can see, are helping me out in the puppet show right now. I like to think of myself as a trickster and a conniver, and if you can't tell by my highly detailed features, I'm the most handsome member of the team. And I'm in this for one thing only, and that's gold. The next two on our team are tieflings. They're like devil people with creepy horns. And the two we have are bards. Bards are like magical musicians. They make spells out of their music. So when you idiots eventually do get stabbed, they'll be able to be like, do de diddly dee and you'll be like, oh, thanks, I feel a whole lot better. Next, we'll go over the muscle. We have the gladiator, Skeevy, and a uh, battle master named Cerebus. And uh, let me tell you, he'll be useful because he's a dragonborn. What? what? You, you don't know what a dragonborn is? What are you, some kind of racist? Anyways, they're like dragon people who can breathe fire. So, kind of useful, am I right? Morons. Now what's the next best member you may ask? A skilled assassin or a thief? Pfft, no. We've got another bard on our hands because having a full band for a stealth job is genius. And I couldn't afford uh, the other two. But hey, this is not another of those demonic looking demon tieflings. He's actually an elf and he's kind of religious. So hey, at least he'll be useful for praying when we get caught. On the subject of elves, we have our ranger, who's a half-elf. It's like an elf, but, uh, you know, half. Next is our other thief, the eel, who, much like me, is, uh, encouraged by money. And now for our final and most important member of the team, Quincy. Quincy is my familiar, and he's the most precious thing in my life and the most skilled member of our team right well that wraps it up let's hope you rookies live up to quincy's expectations